previous speaker was uh, talking about coming after lunch but the most nervousness I have is coming after Aditya. So <laughs> it's hard to follow such an act. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about um, <clears throat> a disability that I face every day. You know when we are here when we talk about disability we talk about all a differently able we talk about somebody who cannot see or who cannot hear but I think all of us everybody who's sitting in this room, including me, we all suffer from one disability, and that the disability of the mind. Because a lot of times we have preconceived notions about everything in the world. The way someone looks, the way someone sounds, the way somebody uh, asks you for something, their accent, their height, their color. We are perceived by what we see around us. And what we are in search of is to break those barriers and enable our mind so we can find the gems that really are around us. You know, to find inspiration, to find something great. We don't need to go too far, they're truly around us. So I just want to start, you know, I love um, telling stories. So I want to start with a quick story of, um, this is about a young couple uh, who move into a new apartment and um, they look out of the window every morning the neighbor lady washes her clothes and she's drying them on the terrace. And every morning the wife looks at it and says, I don't know what it is, she washes the clothes but the clothes are so dirty. I don't know what's wrong with her. So every day this goes on for a couple of weeks. Then one day she wakes up and she sees and the clothes are clean. And she looks at her husband and says, wow, the clothes are clean. We gotta go ask what she did. 
The husband says, you don't need to ask her. All I did was I got up and washed our windows. <laughs> and, and I think, you know, I want to start with that as you listen to the stories that we have here is that sometimes if we can clean our windows, clean our perspectives and look beyond what is there, we find new possibilities. So I've got, we've got uh, a couple of speakers who will talk to you about their perspectives. So I invite you to join this session uh, so that we can all able our minds and wash our windows. Thank you. So let's move from uh, disabilities in the mind to uh, something more that happens in real life. Did you know that you can treat disabilities in mind with the power of magic? To share, with, to share that, uh, how that happens, we have Yukesh Sarkar. You all see me? Perfect. I'm going to disappear for now, have one of our heroes perform, and then jump back. Go ahead and please welcome Vinod Rawat, our hero. Very nervous. Very sorry. Hop! Let's begin. So in a life, we see different kind of magic, okay? Some magics we see through dreams. And I believe we all have a dream. We all have a dream. Can I hear you? So let me share with you, dreams are always dreams. How to turn your dreams into reality? You want to know the secret? Yes. Okay. So life is empty like this tiny glass. And dreams are big. I can't hear you. Dreams are big. That's true. To achieve our dreams, we need to have few ingredients in our life. And those are faith. Goal, hope, and what we are lacking, that is lots of patience. Is it true? So when we have all these ingredients with us, our lives get little big. And with the help of all these ingredients, we can fulfill our life's dream. But here it doesn't end. We go a little big in our dreams that are a little bigger. With the help of same ingredients, we can still fulfill our life's dream. But you know, you heard that, Dil Mange More. <laughs> you grow a little more with your dreams. And you'll hear somebody saying, if you want to dream, dream big. big. That's very true. But don't, do you think, is it possible? Yes? yes? Like I said, if you have all the ingredients with you, no such dream is big enough that you cannot achieve. But there's some problem. If you do not know how to use these ingredients, your life will stuck where you are. But if you have it, Use it and dream big. <laughs> Life is something like that. We always think to be a magic, okay? Everywhere we need to, we see magic. So let me ask you one thing, and which is we have to be very practical with this, okay? So how many of us felt sad in our life? Can you see the hands? How many of us felt sad in our life? Oh, we have some of the liars with us. <laughs> it's very practical, okay? We feel sad. And what was your body language when you felt sad? Do you remember that? Okay, crumpy face, chin down, droopy shoulder. 
and many more things. Is it true? I want all of you to close your eyes for a few seconds. You want to see the magic? Close your eyes for a few seconds. All of you, be obedient. And I want all of you just to think about one of your incidents that made you feel sad. Get into the posture that make you feel sad for a few seconds. Sorry for this. And with that sad feeling, slowly, all of you stand up. Please rise up slowly, all of you. Slowly. Keep both your hands on your hip. Open your eyes slowly. Turn with me on your right. Left. Right. Lift your hands up. Keep moving right. Left. That's good. Right. Left. And dance with me. I like to move it, move it. And I like to move it, move it. Do you feel sad now? Do you feel sad? Give yourself a big round of applause. Great. You all can sit down. You know, when you change your physiology, your psychology automatically gets changed. Is that true? So next time, whenever you go through this such kind of sadness, jump out from that circle. Okay? Move yourself. Do something different. And see, you feel different. All right. I would like to ask you one question. I would like to leave you all with one question. I am not even physically complete. Yet, I can do so much. What about you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Vinod Rawat. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Please give a big round of applause for Vinod, everyone. Thank you. Is this, is this working? I would like my hands free. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vinod. All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No? Better? All right. Cool. I'm Yugesh Sarkar, India's first and ultimate street magician. And today I represent All India Magic Academy Trust. We've broken down the acronym into two words, aim at. And we said it was not complete. What do we aim at? We said, why not adding value? And that's what we do. We aim at adding value to the world around. Uh, if you notice our logo, it looks very mystical, uh, a little hazy around here due to the lights. Uh, but there's a little tiny plus right in the center that actually represents that you, each one of you, or I, if we can do one act of random kindness, it'll create a ripple effect, a butterfly effect that will change this world forever. But today I'm not here to talk about this. I'm here to talk about one of our featured projects, I Am Possible Magic. You just saw a little demonstration of this, uh, wherein Vinod Rawat did something really amazing. Was it? Yes. Right? Thank you. Uh, but today, I want to share with you the vision, you know, how did we all start this entire thing? You know, we figured out that, you know, long time ago that all of mankind, how have we survived and flourished? It's because of hope. Like Bhuvan said, not just hope, but you also got to go ahead and work on it. And of course, we did that as mankind. But over a period of time, we have lost it. And we want to go ahead and share with this world, with our vision, that there is still hope. We want the world to believe that there is still hope. Very interesting, we came out with this cool stuff. But then, what was the objective? The objective is to take differently abled individuals and turn them into world-class performers. 
we figured out if we have to do that, we need few ingredients. And one of the most important thing is the audience. I figured out the best way to go ahead and interact with our audience and build lifelong relationship with them is to do one simple thing. To go ahead and add value in their lives. Well, all this great. We came out with all this mindset, great things, but how do we achieve something like this? After a lot of pondering, we figured out we have to do this in three parts. So uh, to start off with, we started out with the first part, which is of magic. You just witnessed a bit of it, uh, wherein as of now it is just magic, but we are including many other fields like inspirational speaking, uh, body language, sales skill, and so on, as we keep going on. And the second part was life skills, wherein uh, you saw him going ahead and doing, I like to move it, move it. And at this point of time, I would like to just uh, go ahead and share something very interesting with you because I need to add some value over here. Can I have a volunteer please quickly on stage? Anybody? Now? Yeah, you can take your time, but please hurry up. Thank you. Please give a big round of applause for the daring woman. Your good name? Veena. Hi, Veena. Veena, I want you to look at this object. And with just your intentions, I want you to try and move it. Not happening? Please do whatever you want, Veena, to move the bottle. Go ahead, do anything you want to move the bottle. Perfect. Your intentions have zero value. It's only your actions that give you results. <laughs> Don't waste your time thinking. Hold on, there is some more. I've just gotten you hooked onto my trap. No bad ideas, okay? So, now, I want you to pick up this bottle in such a way that all the tips of your fingers and thumbs of both your hands are touching the bottle. What Pick it up. Bottle. The bottle. All right, she's getting specific now. <laughs> both the hands, yeah. Make sure all the tips of your fingers, pick it up. Show it to everyone. Awesome. Can you please do the same with this glass? Great. Did you notice something? You had to let go. Absolutely. In fact, most of us are trained and bred in such a way that we carry monkeys on our back. When we're at work, we are thinking about friends and family. When we're with family, we're thinking about friends and work and so on. By doing something like this, we are cheating ourselves and others of our 100% contribution. Like we saw in the first step, your intentions have no value. So if you're at work and you're thinking about your family or friends, don't waste your time. Yeah. Interesting things, right? I'm sure we'll all try this in our life. If it doesn't work, we'll try harder? Yes. Perfect. One last thing. I want you to pick up this bottle, please, Veena. <coughs> All your choice. <coughs> please put it back. Go ahead, try and pick it up. No, 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 no. Put it back. Now, try and pick it up. Just try picking it up. Don't pick it up. Harder? Harder. No, no, don't pick it up. Just try picking it up. <laughs> try, try. Doesn't work, right? Yes, no. <laughs> Trying yes. is lying. <laughs> don't give yourself false hopes saying that I'm going to try doing things. You just do it. There are only two outcomes. Either you'll succeed or you fail. Yes. And if you fail, Change your strategy till you achieve that success that you've been wanting for. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much, Neil. Now that we had all these things right, we had to have a mindset. Mindset is very important to start off a revolution. And then we said, let's go ahead and use something that worked the best for me. You know, no turning back. 
whatever you do, no matter what, no turning back. And then, absolutely, no plan B. You want to do something in life? Have the simple mindset, there's no plan B. You'll have surprising results. We've had. And then, you might ask, was it easy? I'm like, it was not like taking a trained, you know, little pug for a walk in a park. It was more like going ahead and yanking an untrained wild elephant and taking it for a walk. Uh, our heroes, when they joined, and we took two differently abled individuals, when they joined and these guys didn't know how to speak English, came from very poor backgrounds, low IQ, a uh, lot of baggage, way a lot of baggage on their shoulders. And then we said, all right, there's no plan B, so let's work with them. It just took us about four months. We thought it'll take us about one and a half, two months, but it took us four months. And on April 17th of 2013, uh, emerged two heroes, real life heroes. These were real life heroes who went ahead and performed their first show for a packed audience of international stature in English. That's it. It's sheer dedication and mindset. And that is what they went ahead and displayed. And then, on the 26th of July 2013, uh, which incidentally also happened to be my birthday, uh, at Ink Trailblazers, thanks to Lakshmi, Okay, she vanished there. She's, okay, <laughs> thanks to her, uh, Vinod Rawat, who you just witnessed, became the world's first one-legged man to ride a bullet blindfolded in traffic. Uh, there's a quick anecdote that I would like to give. It was not thought of, there, but I would still like to share at this moment. So when I called Vinod the first time, he, you know, I told him, hey, listen, I want to do this project, and why don't you be a part of this? He came out in his Mumbai atone, he said, saab, bhai, saab, nahi hota hai. A lot of people call inspiration, do this, do that. Then afterwards, they'll give one coconut, one shawl, and they'll tell, OK, go home. <laughs> I was like, OK, and? And I was like, they don't even ask whether we have money to go back home or not. And I have to, you know, like, get scared, go and train without ticket, and so on. So it is humiliating. And you know what, I'm even tired of this life. Uh, I've tried everything. Nothing is working out for me. I tried committing suicide two days ago. Unfortunately, kismat bhi saath nahi diya, and the pipe broke. <laughs> and right now, as I'm talking to you, I'm preparing for the next attempt. And this time, I'm sure I'll be successful. You know, learn from practice. Yeah. That was too much information for me on the very first call. I said, okay, you know what, do one thing, come meet me. If you don't like what I have to offer, I'll give you some really creative ways of going ahead and killing yourself. <laughs> Fair deal, right? And he was like, who the hell is this? And uh, I'm living up to my promise. I mean, he survived this. <laughs> Let's see. There's no plan B. <laughs> what do we have in future? What's all in our mindset? Uh, well, uh, we took two differently abled individuals and transformed their lives. And in the bargain, touched thousands of lives. We want to take this to the next level, wherein we want to go ahead and take in more differently abled individuals and turn them into world-class performers in various fields and touch millions of lives. That's the mindset and that's the vision that we have right now. And uh, one man started this revolution. This is a time where I was not very comfortable, but apparently I have to blow my own trumpet. Uh, so. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, a lot of people were very kind and generous when I started this out. And there were a lot of people who exploited us also. You know? Don't leave a chance, type. A lot of people said that, you know, this is like totally stupid. You're mad. This is completely, completely impossible. Dedication, clarity, mindset, and then the impossible can be changed into I am possible.
It's as simple as that. So, today we have a dedicated team. People started seeing us and they said, okay, wow, these guys are really doing something. They're not just talkers, but they're doers. So, we got some really, really amazing people coming and joining us and helping us do what we are doing. And now, today, uh, I mean, these guys are like crazy. In fact, uh, you know, I take a lot of pride working with my team. Uh, they allow me to work after all the psyching that they go through from me. And I keep harassing them with funny, stupid, lame jokes. But yeah, these guys put in their day and night, all their efforts, to go ahead and make sure that this vision comes true. And we all believe in one thing, there is no plan B. Absolutely no plan B. And hats off to my team, thanks to them. We are doing some really amazing stuff. But we definitely need your support to take this to the next level. Uh, the whole fact is that we want to go ahead and create this environment where, you know, when people look at differently abled individuals, the, right now the mindset is sympathy, pity. Are bichara. Oh, so sad. Unfortunately, no. We want to change that mindset. I know it's a very far-fetched dream. I hope we achieve during my lifetime, if at all. But uh, you know, that is a far-fetched dream where whenever they see a differently abled individual anywhere, they should be able to get excited and say, wow, what can this guy do? Wow. Is he another hero? That's the whole thing. And we need your support, definitely. I mean, any ways that you can help us, you want to donate, uh, we are welcome to do that. You want to volunteer with us, we'll promise you that you'll have a blast of your lifetime. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can help us spread the words. And I had a few corporates over here. You're welcome to go ahead and have our heroes come and train and perform, uh, you know, for your employees. That will create the sensitivity issue. It will be addressed over there. And apart from that, these guys will get a living. Uh, these guys are poor money-wise, but when you check out their mindset and their heart, I think these guys are really, really rich. OK, that was planted, honestly. Well, today you have the power you know, to go ahead and change many lives. Uh, we just have this mindset that we believe that individually we can do only so much. But when we get together, we can do so much more. And with that, I would just like to say, let's begin. Let's begin. Thank you. Thank you very much.